All right, then, folks. We've cleaned it, but now we've got no wick. It's time to wick the RDA, and uh, then we'll get to vaping it. So, first things first, you're gonna need some cotton. Fusion does that by the boatload, so uh, we're covered for cotton. Let's get to it. Now, I do see a lot of the time folks come in here and they're complaining of bad taste or they're getting dry hits quite often and it's usually down to wicking. Now general consensus of the shop seems to be to pass it to me because for some reason um, I always do it best or everyone's either too lazy to do it themselves. I'm not too sure which is true but you know we'll figure it out eventually. Now I have a couple of kind of rules of thumbs uh, you know that I use to approach wicking anything uh, whether that be an RDA or an RTA or an RDTA or you know any which uh, rebuildable and that is that by looking at the inner diameter of the coil I look at the amount of cotton that I have in my hand uh, when it's loosely pressed together and this should be about one and a half times the size of the hole that we're going into so if that was a three mil I'd kind of go for you know this being four five um, because when it's compressed it will fit so all we need to do is just gather a loose section of cotton, kind of bring it together into a tube shape, a bit like you're rolling a joint, I suppose. And you know, there we are, we've got a point to go through. And don't try overcomplicate wicking. If you keep it simple, it's gonna look after itself. The biggest thing you've got is tension now when you're going in. You don't wanna skew the coil, you don't wanna mess the coil up in any way, but you still wanna have cotton touching the interior, you know, the interior diameter needs to be touched by cotton on all sides. You just want it absolutely everywhere, but you don't want to ram it in to the point where it's so compact, nothing can flow through it. So if there's a little bit of play backwards and forwards, but you can see it's touching everywhere, then you're in a good place to be. But don't worry too much about all the ancient art of fluffing it up with a hairbrush and stuff like this. That's really nothing I've ever gotten into. Um, I can get where people are coming from. And by all means, if you want to take a nice Instagram photo, you know, it always helps to have them looking good. But I don't know, I just get myself a bit of cotton. It's something you're going to be doing quite often. So why not just, you know, get it over and done with instead of trying to get too arty farty about it and wasting a whole bunch of time. Now you've got a little bit of spare cotton. Always shove that back in the tub because Fusion does a wonderful job of uh, joining back up to itself. And again, just twisting out a sharp point. And we're gonna pop that in there. Now there's a little bit gathering over here as I pull through. I can see it's gathering on one side as I pull through, which means I've got quite a bit of excess over here. So I'm just gonna kind of pull that away with my fingers to neaten things up. I've got a little bit of tension. And that's happy days. Now, where do I cut this? That's gonna depend on each different RDA that you've got. So you're gonna look at how deep the well is, where the bottom is, but for the Kimdi over here, we need to be touching the base, and the base is at that second or that first O-ring there. So we're gonna use that as a guide. Skip past the Doritos. And this video is really badly planned. <laughs> like where are the scissors or the shears? We have shears, so we're getting there. And taking a guess, it's gonna be around there. So just, you know, take a rough marker as you press them down. And just, that's about it really. Don't get too OTT and thinking you're gonna to need to take a brush to this stuff and uh, start getting all, all complex. Anything spare that you've got lying around can be used as a pokey downy thing. So you can officially pokey this down with spare wire, a little off-cut wire, the corner of something, and all we're doing is sliding it down. Now, depending on your airflow options, again, like Kendi, we need we have to sit around the edges because uh, we've got no option, but you do always want to leave a gap in the center for your airflow, and there we go. That's it, it's about as complex as that. And that'll last you all day long, all the way through until tomorrow, by which time it's most probably gotten a bit gunky again and you'd want to change. But uh, yeah, until that time comes, now we can enjoy dripping 
fresh tasting juice because it's always best on fresh cotton. Now a lot of people wait to, you know, for everything to soak in. I'll pile juice on top and then just quickly hit the button to force that to soak in. Um, it becomes very viscose and just goes into the cotton itself. Making sure to not let it fall into the air holes, but depending on your style, you just go for it and get it wicked up. There you go. Nate Presto, today I'm on uh, Dobro's, a new one that we've got in from the Ace of Vapes, the guys who made Just Jam and the such. Uh, this is Dobro, Dobro's Boston Cream. And I have to say, it's been going quick. We got it in the other day, and we've already sold out the Boston Cream, we sold out on the Apple, we sold out on the, what was the other one? I can't even remember the flavors now. There are so many, there's like lemon up there, caramel, coffee, you name it, it's out there. That is the one, and blueberry jam. So we are gonna pick up some more. Um, so it will be in stock again by about Monday. But guys, yeah, a definite must. If you've tried the Just Jam Donuts range, this entire range is that donut base with some really awesome flavors on top and this Boston cream is disappearing quickly. So uh, I'm gonna get stuck into this, you guys crack on. And if you've got any questions about wicking your drippers or how to uh, you know, get into anything to do with vaping, uh, by all means, ask in the comment section down below and we'll see you again later. Enjoy. That is sexy juice. <laughs>